Council members of the House of Representatives have called for a national security dialogue to address growing challenges with insecurity. This followed a motion brought before the floor of the House by Honorable Adebayo Molafe following the murder of the daughter of the leader of Pan Yoruba Group of Fenifera, Pan Ruben, Pa Ruben Fasheroti by suspected armed robbers. 58-year-old Olufunke Olakuri was travelling from Akura to Lagos but was shot and untied by armed men on her vehicle as her vehicle tried to evade an attack on travellers along the expressway and lost her life in the process. After that same day that I had that, that uh, news from my constituency, believe me, my God, I've not slept for three hours in each of the days I lie down on my bed. Because it became worrisome in this country, Mr. Speaker, that most of our constituents can no longer sleep with their two eyes closed. How long do we continue like this? I want to employ the Honorable House to please act as a resolve in my petition and two, do something urgent to curb this kind of thing in our society. As I am talking to you, Mr. Speaker, there are protests in my constituency against this deadly act. I keep sending messages to them to hold on for me, but then they rebuke my messages. I want to beg of this house to please do something urgent so that these killings all over the places will not lead to a regional war. It is so worrisome that some of us coming into the National Assembly as first-timers, we have monitored proceedings of the House from six, seven, eight assembly, and today we are in the ninth assembly. And what I still, and I am still seeing, is what we have been monitoring on TV years after years, discussing the issues of insecurity in this country without a concrete solution. Resolutions have been made. At the end of the day, we will not see the impact of the discussion that is being made on the floor of the House. Every day, they will be telling us that perpetrators will be brought to book. The book of the perpetrators is still empty, while the books of those that are being killed every day is in volumes. For how long will we continue speaking and saying the same thing every day? Mr. Speaker, it's time for the House to provide leadership. I would recommend, Mr. Speaker and honorable colleagues, that if this House will agree, let there be a public hearing on the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. We have so many people who are unemployed. Some cannot even go to school. The ones with money, instead of assisting those ones that cannot go to school, they will send their own kids to London, America. But they are forgotten that the money you are investing on those ones you are sending to London or America, the ones you are neglecting, you have abandoned, will eventually destroy the investment made on the people sent abroad. Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal that we should all be sensitive to our, our environment and assist security problem as a collective response. Nigeria's immediate past president, Goodluck Jonathan, on Tuesday visited Afeni Fara leader Ruben Fisheroti after the death of his daughter, Funke Olakuni. The former president had earlier condoled with Fisheroti after sharing on his Twitter handle that his family offered their deepest solidarity now and always. He decried Olakuni's murder by suspected headsmen, adding that no one deserves to hear such news not the least being Fashorati, a man that has given so much to Nigeria and asked so little.